Mmm, pork and pineapple with a mixed rice dish. Delicious. Hi guys, and welcome back to the Gourmet Granddad cooking channel. Rog here, and today I'm going to show you how to cook a really delicious dish using pork chops and just a few simple ingredients. Here I have some really delicious pork chops. Here I've got some pineapple slices. I'm gonna cut those into chunks. I've got some sweet corn, some rice, I'm gonna cook that down. Some corn flour, rice wine vinegar, some pepper, some oyster sauce and to finish it off we're going to use a bit of soy sauce to start on the pork chops I'm going to take the excess fat from around the outside because we're not going to be needing that and then cut the pork chops into smallish chunks about that size then I'm going to add our pork to a bowl along with one dessert spoonful of corn flour. Now this corn flour is going to thicken up the finished dish but also it's going to make this pork so very very tender. I'm going to add about two teaspoons of oyster sauce, perhaps three. Some rice wine vinegar probably one dessert spoonful a nice glug of soy sauce and a dessert spoonful of pineapple juice then we're going to bring this all together and set this aside to rest for about 15 minutes longer if you've got the time meanwhile I'll be preparing the pineapple Cutting this up into neat little chunks, about this size will do. After the pork has marinated, we can put it into a pan on the hob and we're going to cook this until it's a lovely brown colour. Actually, it's brown already, but we're going to cook it right through. Then we can add our pineapple after the meat has cooked. Basically, this pineapple has just got to be warmed. I'm going to add a drop of the pineapple juice too, just to keep it nice and liquid. Give this a stir, get it all warmed right through and that looks so delicious guys, really does. Then a good helping of pepper, I do love my pepper. In that goes, a nice sprinkling over the top. Then onto a bed of cooked long grain rice, I go with some sweet corn, just sweet corn out of a tin. Then I'm going to chop down some spring onions. I'm going to use the green as well as the white. Cut these into little pieces like this and then they can be sprinkled over the top of the rice and mixed in. They give it that little bit of greenery, little bit of interest and of course the flavour. We don't want to miss out on the flavour now do we? So now it's time to plate up. We'll go on with two large spoonfuls of the pork and pineapple and of course a side dish a lovely mixed rice ooh tasty there's a shot of the rice all ready to go another one looks so colourful doesn't it so does the dish that we're going to eat now I'm thinking to myself it's about time for my taste test I reckon oh that's looking good let's sort out a nice little tasty bit and spoil myself. Wow guys, that really is so tasty, so delicious. You really must try this recipe for yourself, it is great. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed to watch all of my future videos and all the other ones that I've done in the past. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye.